Here it is. I got the Trailtech Voyager Pro hooked up to my XR650R totally differently than I had. I had it on a RAM mount. It kind of came up and it was kind of like out here. And it was pretty annoying because it was this big thing out there. So as you can see, it's a lot flusher. I put it right there on the highway dirt bike bars. I just tapped out a couple holes. And yes, just two because that's all I could line up on this mount. I don't know if he's changed that around. It's been a long time uh, since I've had mine. And with this here, I can still see my... If my bike engine's on, all that does is when I kick the bike and that flashes, I know I have this button turned on or the bike is off. People won't be able to kick my bike if they just come up and try to start it. They probably wouldn't be able to figure it out. Um, you know, they'll just see that it's a kick. There's no, they'll see buttons. They'll probably think something's a push button. Who knows? Um, this one is to let me know that the, the power for the GPS is turned on so we got the on off and we got the GPS so that one's the GPS that one if I kick it will flash if I push that so what I did here was I tapped two holes so you see two holes on the bottom line up pretty much in the middle of this clamp and it's billet aluminum so I, I do believe it's billet aluminum and I just tapped it out. I have a tap and die set, so that was easy enough for me to do. These were the screws I believe that came with the unit and they're just screwed right into that billet because I was able to tap them out. If not, I already just got longer uh, screws and put, and put a um, lock nut on the bottom. That's all I would have done if that was needed. But because I could tap it out, that worked really smoothly. Now up here, that kind of lined up mostly half and half on the space that's in this mounting system. I wish it was solid because that would add a lot of customization, but I guess it would add weight and people fret about that. Plus this is probably open, so on like most of these pro taper bars, there's markings to the degree you, you can turn the bars, you know, how you want them. I've never used that. I just set them how it seems fine, and that's how I run them. <laughs> never worried about that. But the bike came with these bars, and I've never really messed around with rotating them or anything. So what I had to do, which is unique, is you see I have a zip tie end, and that's holding this down onto a piece of door seal foam just so it, it gives a little enough so when I put this on, otherwise it, it moves slightly and I could see that there could be a rattle just having these two bottom because in there is a rubber garment and that would give enough flex. It takes away the vibration from the unit. And uh, you want some foam back there so when you tighten the, down these zip ties, this end of a zip tie, it will pull against that. So it's giving and it's pushing against the same time to make it tight and it's not going to move anywhere so how i have that i'll, I'll do a demo because you have to think outside the box yeah, that's just the cover for up there but so i put a zip tie around there poke the end through the top cut off another zip tie just the end and slid it down you needle nose to hold on and as i'm pulling i'm pushing with a screwdriver on that piece down and that's how it made it really really tight that's not going to pop that that head's bigger than the hole it's not going to just pop out if i need to take these out i can just reach up under there and cut cut it or i could probably reach in here with a screwdriver or something or soldering iron just milled in pull it out uh, so let, let's take a look how, how I did that so you could probably use that for other applications, if not this, on your bike. So imagine I'm doing what I did here, but I'm just going to do it out over here. So I just took a zip tie, and I went around, and I tightened it just like that on the bar underneath. I took another zip tie. Cut, cut, cut off the end flush, so that's pretty flush. 
and then make sure you have it the right way. And I just took that, started clicking, and that's all I did. And you know, it's going through something, so imagine something is right there I need to hold down. I took needle nose, I held this part with the needle nose, and then I just took a screwdriver and I pushed, once it got kind of got in that recess, pushed down on this until it tightened. And then that's gonna hold it down and that's gonna keep it tight. So think outside the box, that's what I use. You can use this trick on other things like installing a radiator fan on a motorcycle. You can take a zip tie, take some washers or rubber garments and just slide the zip tie right through and take, cut off a head and slide that one right on to use as a way to hold the radiator fan, which is what's holding my gas gas radiator fan in place in the four corners. That's all I did. Obviously this one I wasted just for you, but zip ties, if you get the just normal ones, are fairly cheap. Good ones can cost a lot of money by the original zip tie company like Tie Wrap, TY-RAP. I'll put a link to them. They're good stuff. They're expensive. Hopefully this little trick helps you out in many different ways, not just mounting a, a Trail Tech Voyager Pro, but just in doing other stuff. So just think outside the box and you can make something work. You know, this ain't, isn't gonna go anywhere. Even if these zip ties for some reason got old, break. I mean, it's still held in here. It's not gonna fall off. With the unit on, those just cannot back all the way out. And that's, that's pretty much locked on. On this bike, it leaves me room on the side to put in that long locking Allen and tighten down the mount so you can't even take this off if I wish but I don't think it's gonna even pop off in that spot. It, it's pretty much there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this tip, tip helped you out. Please like, subscribe, and check out the description for links to products. It really helps the page out by uh, help funding me a little bit to buy things so I can show you and give a unbiased review and just bring you cool, interesting products. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.